I'm going to start uh, making some loops here that would be made out of fabric, like you'd put ratchets in or paintbrushes or something like that. Um, um, so, uh, you know, you might make these out of a uh, an elastic material or something. This is one way to do it. I don't profess it's the exact right way or anything, but... Uh, it's the way that I thought of doing it. I'm going to make a line here first that I'm going to get rid of later. Um, or it's going to, I'm going to get rid of parts of it. And then I'm going to put another one here. And then I'm going to hit D for dimension. Um, escape D. And I'm going to this is all going to be a 32nd of an inch thick. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, an arc here. Um, and this uh, arc is going to be that loop. So... Didn't do the right thing. There we go. There to here, and then I'm going to go back and define those things. So I'm going to hit D for dimension. I'm going to say this is radius of 0.25. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So oh no, it's not it's a little bit different. So 0.25 return. It's such a slight change, it won't change um, anything. And then I'm going to do um, from here to here, um, point to All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this, um, offset it, and the whole loop is one thirty second of an inch thick. Uh, oh, I see. Um, try this again. There we go. All right, now I'm going to um, put uh, I'm going to get this to come over. These portions here are going to be the portions that we're going to pretend are um, sewn down. And then I'm going to place a couple of points here. Um, And I'm going to define them. I don't think I needed to put a point there. I did by mistake, basically. Um, and then this one, um, I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to put a point in here. That one didn't go with it. Um, but I think I can do this. And now I can draw some lines. All of my um, constraints are turned on right now. So the automatic constraints. So that's why that could be 90 degrees there. And now I'm going to erase some things or trim them. So I don't want this line here. And it's giving me warnings down there, but in general, I've learned that I can ignore most of those and be okay. It's a little nerve-wracking, but uh, so I don't want that either. Looks like I've got a couple in here that are doubled up. I don't really know why. It's possible I put two lines in and didn't, and didn't mean to. Um, All right, 
And what I want to be left with is just this thing there. Now I can take this and I can replicate it. I'm going to replicate it 15 times. So I'm going to do a rectangular pattern. Um, and I'm going to select the objects by doing this. Going from the bottom right corner to the upper left, that will select all of that that I encircle. And then I'm going to say this is the direction I want to go. That's highlighted already. Spacing is good. That's what I want. Just ex um, spacing. I'm going to say 15. And what I think I've learned is that I, I can take uh, all of this, right, and add it all together and say that's what my distance is going to be. Every this together is uh, is a one eighth plus one half plus uh, sorry one sixteenth plus one half plus one sixteenth. So that ends up to be five eighths. And it hooks on there, and I'm going to say, and I can go down and see that, yep, there's all this stuff, and it's looking good. Okay. There's a couple more uh, points in there that I want than I want, but I'm for the sake of this video, I think it's going to be all right. I'll say okay. Yep, that's looking, that's looking good. Okay. Now I'm going to finish the sketch, and I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to um, highlight it all like this, and then I'm going to press pull, and I'm going to say it's going to be up, go up a half inch, return. Then I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to say, all right, well, that's supposed to be a fabric, you know, like an elastomer inside, some fabric on the outside. So you can play around with the way this thing, I'm going to right click on there and go to uh, physical, I think physical material, is that right? No, yes. And then I'm going to say fabric, and I'm going to bring up something that looks uh, kind of like it should there. I'm gonna we can mess around a little bit, right? So I can do, put it in fabric, put that on it, and see what happens. And then I think if you wanted it to be uh, a different color, I think you could go to color. But a lot of times these things are black. Uh, this, these right in here are supposed to be where they're sewn, and then these are where it accepts other things and would stretch out. Um, but, you know, for the sake of um, a backpack or something like that, I think that this would work out pretty well to, to show that this is the way it would, would look. I, I also think if I were to do this again, I make make this distance in here a 64th of an inch, and then it would be like that wide, and it might look a little bit more realistic to have not as much room there. But I think that looks pretty good uh, for those purposes.